The silence of the night wrapped around the house like a thick, suffocating blanket. Shadows danced eerily across the walls, and every creak of the old floorboard sounded like a distant whisper of impending doom. I lay in bed, my heart pounding against my chest like a desperate prisoner begging for freedom. Little did I know, the real terror was lurking just beyond my bedroom door. It began innocently enough, or so I thought. Strange occurrences, easily dismissed as figments of an overactive imagination. A misplaced item here, a flickering light there. But as the days turned into weeks, the sinister truth began to reveal itself. I started noticing subtle signs that someone had been in my home. A faint odor of cologne lingering in the air, despite living alone. Footprints, barely discernible, imprinted on the dusty floor. At first, I brushed them off as tricks of the mind, desperate attempts to rationalize the irrational. Then came the whispers. Soft, barely audible murmurs that seemed to float through the walls, taunting me with their presence. I would wake in the dead of night, drenched in a cold sweat, convinced that someone was watching me. But each time I searched the empty rooms, there was nothing but the oppressive darkness staring back at me. As the days passed, the intrusions grew bolder, more brazen. Objects would vanish without a trace, only to reappear in the most unlikely of places. I would find photographs scattered across the floor, faces scratched out with malicious intent. And always, always, the feeling of being watched, of being hunted, never waned. My once safe haven had become a prison of fear, a battleground where the lines between reality and nightmare blurred beyond recognition. I installed security cameras, barricaded doors, but it was all in vain. Whoever, or whatever, was haunting me seemed to revel in my futile attempts to escape its clutches. Then, one fateful night, the facade of normalcy shattered into a million pieces. I awoke to the sound of shattering glass, the sharp shards echoing like a macabre symphony through the empty house. Heart pounding, I grabbed the nearest weapon, a kitchen knife, and crept downstairs, every nerve on edge. And there, in the flickering light of the moon, I saw it. A figure, shrouded in darkness, standing in the center of my living room. Its eyes gleamed with a predatory hunger, fixated on me with an intensity that sent shivers down my spine. I tried to scream, to lash out, but terror had rendered me powerless, a mere puppet in the hands of a malevolent puppeteer. In that moment, as the stalker lunged forward with inhuman speed, I realized the horrifying truth. The stalker was not an intruder from the outside world. It was a manifestation of the darkness that had taken root within me, a relentless tormentor born from the depths of my own mind. And as its icy grip closed around my throat, dragging me into the abyss, I knew that I would forever be haunted by the terrifying spectre that lurked within the shadows of my own home.